looking to learn about the high levels, the new features of high level came out, such as the content AI, such as how to use artificial intelligence inside of high level and inside of Verizon results to go ahead and connect your marketing game to go ahead and generate you more customers and go ahead and obviously increase the amount of people that you convert into your funnels and this is the video for you so let's go ahead and talk about it so what i want to go ahead and talk about is i want to talk about the new updates and the features that are now in high level which is content ai i'm going to talk about how you can leverage those features how you can uh, implement those features in your workflows and i'm also going to include a bonus at the end of it all so you can go ahead and understand you know uh, to help you increase the amount of leverage that you have right now there's another thing as well that we're going to cover. We're going to talk about integrations as well. Just a, a light touch up as far as how to integrate, you know, um, the marketing, uh, various marketing tools that are out there and also how to integrate um, payments as well so you can get paid. Okay. So first thing first is going to dive into my high level. And in the high level right now, what we're going to do is we're going to assume that you are, you're trying to create a campaign, right? This is the rising results uh, version of high level. Uh, I'm going to assume right now that you want to create a campaign for, you know, life insurance, right? You want to create a campaign for insurance and you want to, you know, sell insurance or um, generate leads, right? So first thing first is you have to understand is what are people um, buying into, right? What, what are people, you know, you need to be able to give people, you need a lead magnet, right? You need something you can give them for free for free right what does that mean that means that you know you need to be able to say hey you know download this guide uh insurance buyers guide or um guide to purchasing the right life insurance for you right so what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and create that lead magnet first all right so to be able to create a lead magnet what i'm going to do is i'm going to dive into my chat gpt and i'm going to create a new chat and let's call this a lead Okay, so um, now I'm in my chat GPT here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a book. Now, if you're curious, you're like, hey, how, why does your chat GPT look different? My chat GPT looks different because I'm using a Chrome extension. Um, let me see if I can find that extension there. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll link to it in the description. Um, if anything, if you need it, just go ahead and... Um, um, send me uh just i'm pretty sure it is oh yeah aiprm aiprm right there that's a aiprm for chat gpt that's the chrome extension right there that's the one it's a paid subscription uh, i think it's 20 bucks a month that you can have access to prompts right it just gives you gives you access to prompts so let's say i'm gonna write a complete book right so i'm gonna write a book about um life and uh choosing the right mortgage protection plan uh, for families uh, for breadwinners mortgage protection plan if you are over 50 okay so this is you know right mortgage protection insurance plan okay a comprehensive guide to choosing the right plan. So notice it's writing a book for me. Um, so we're gonna let ChatGPT write the book. Chapter one, understanding mortgage protection insurance. Chapter two, uh, assessing, uh, assessing your mortgage protection needs. Chapter three, choosing the right mortgage uh, type of mortgage protection insurance. Um, chapter, and then it's just going to go ahead and keep writing it. It's going to write as much as is needed um, for your lead magnet, right? So we're just gonna let ChatGPT do its thing um, and just gonna continue. And then it's just gonna just obviously go ahead and read it. Um, once it's gone ahead right now and written everything that I need, what you can do is um, you can copy this because it's still it's still writing. Um, what you can do is you can come up here and you can copy like here All right. and you can go to like
Okay, you can create a new document, so you can give it as a document, you can convert it to a PDF, you can, you can, whatever it is, you, you just call it whatever you want to call it, right? And there's a few other edits that you can do here, but the main thing is I wanted to show you how you can basically go ahead and write a lead magnet guide. You can obviously uh, come up here and just change the background to this, uh, because this is just a background thing. Just go ahead and highlight everything. I want you to highlight everything. I believe there's a portion of the text color, um, black, and background color. Right. It's just a copy. Yeah, there's just a few edits that you need to make here um, to make it more presentable. Uh, there's also a bunch of other writers out there that you can use. But let's say we have our lead magnet already done, such as you know this guy. You know, the guide to purchasing the right mortgage protection insurance plan. So now we're going to go ahead and go back in here and we want to go ahead and create a funnel with the free guide in, right? So I come up here, click a new funnel, go to template library, and we just come up here and type in insurance. Insurance score for all, life insurance for good service, health insurance. There's a bunch of insurance. This is this there's a lot. Um, we could just use this for like insurance leads, like this one. You can preview it if you want to, obviously. And then continue. Get this template. Alright. Now hopefully you're following along here. And all you have to do is just let's go back into funnels. Life insurance leads and then edit. Add in a new tab. Now this is where it kind of comes in handy as far as using. Uh, we're not even using Chat GPT from the main source. We're actually using the integration at high level has set up and you know um, in the funnel builder, right? So somewhere up here you'll be able to see the content AI section. It's not shown. It's not cool. Not cool. Not cool. Not cool. Okay. okay. Now, the content AI only shows up when you select something. Like um, you select an element, it will uh, you get the pop up on the top right right here which will be the content AI section right so let's say we want to write a headline all right so headline for for what is the title that we got initially. you can also have chat GPT write it it's up to you but this is just kind of showing you those new updates that um, high level has Senior's Guide to Mortgage Protection, you have Safeguard the Future, Discover the Right Perfect Plan. So as you notice here, there's a bunch of them, so I'll just copy that. Um, you can also, like I said, you can use in chat GPT. I'm just trying to, I'm just kind of trying to show you here. And then you can say, you know, write me a, um, write a subheadline for Protect your home and future senior friendly mortgage protect. Discover peace of mind without comprehensive guide. So, right. See? And then, you know, it's it's generally this. And then seniority, senior security is a priority, not an option. And then you can kind of use it as you as you want. You can write bullet points, um, whatever it is that you need to do. You can just come up here, select the element, and then click on, on the uh, select the element and then click on content AI here somewhere and it will go ahead you know, right there and it will go ahead and write whatever it is that you need it to write now 
on some on some elements you can notice like this element here it's not popping up on this element here it's not popping up on this element here it's popping up so it will come up it will pop up on headlines and subheadlines for uh, short form content hopefully high level can kind of fix it for long form content but um or you can just go back into your chat gpt account and do it i personally just use chrome extensions i have a few extensions out there a few extensions i recommend is uh chat gpt sidebar what that does is it just populates like a, uh, a sidebar like this and then i can say write me bullet points for um funnel title So say now it's it's spinning out. So that's another thing you can use. You can use Chrome extensions and you can access it directly from there. And then all I can do is while I'm building, I just go up here and just highlight. It. So like, like I said, this is not me building a funnel. I have no, it's not about building a funnel, it's about showing you what you can actually do with the new content AI features, right? You can do use this for uh, funnels. Um, now when I build the funnels, I actually manually do a lot, some of the work, but I use a few other chat GPT prompts to go ahead and help me with um, setting things up. Um, so we're going to skip this for now. So this is basically just if you want to use the content AI feature on funnels, right? Now you can also, I know I totally just disregarded the uh, lead magnet we were working on. The lead magnet, just to give you an idea, that you can actually use chat GPT to actually, you know, create it an ebook, a book or whatever it is and you can use that as uh, a resource that you can get for free right you know attract people with the word free they come in for a free guide and then afterwards then you can pitch them other services that you're looking for that you want to sell um let's see as far as blogs go it's pretty much the same thing as far as blogs go as well yes you can just come up here to blogs and you can kind of use play around with that uh, the content AI feature. Um, my internet's kind of a little slow right now, but you can use the content AI feature on your social planner, use content AI feature on your, um, um, what you call it, on your blogs. Now, in the event that you don't see content AI, it's because either on your agency account, you need to go and turn it on and um, turn it on from SAS configurator or turn it on. Um, but Another thing as well to mention is when you come up here to automations, there's a new tab here, it's called Content AI. Now in this tab, it will show you how many words per day you're generating, <clears throat> the variations, um, just so you can know like as far as the billing goes, because you are billed for this, it's not free, right? Content AI, uh, um, it's not free, it's not free to, to build to, you build on a high level, and you'll be able to see that when you get uh, the itemized, um, payments right you, you, you have the invoices so you can also use it as well for your blogs like I said you go on your blogs uh, I, I new post now for the title of the post description here you notice it's not creating anything so I can just go on the chat GPT and I can kind of create that but you can use it more or less inside of the blogs right uh, another thing is what that I want to kind of go ahead and cover here is I want to go ahead and cover um, the integrations okay i want to go and cover integrations so now if you know i'm not gonna i'm gonna make a separate video for it but i want to go ahead and cover the integrations that you can make inside of your high level right so you can integrate this is just your payment integrations you click on payment and on the integrations here you can integrate your stripe account you can integrate integrate your um authorized net what is this this allows you when you invoice your customers they can pay however they see fit right it's a payment gateway right it's a your payment process so I'll make a few other videos as far as how to use this in a later video, but I just kind of want to make an introduction to, to integrations and in PayPal as well. You can integrate your PayPal. What it, what happens is like, let's say, um, you send an invoice, right? And they want to pay the invoice on your funnel. People can actually pay that invoice with Apple pay if they're on the phone, PayPal, just to give your customers a wider range of, of ways in which you can be able to make that payment. That's what the payment integration is all about. So I'll make another video for how to do the payment integrations uh, probably this week or so, uh, but I just wanted to kind of cover that. Another set of integrations as well that I want to go ahead and talk about is the 
um, you have the ability to integrate, obviously you have the ability to integrate your Instagram account, Google My Business, um, your QuickBooks. We integrate our QuickBooks because what happens is every time we, we get a in new invoice or new invoice paid, um, the bookkeeping department, the finance department gets notified so they're able to itemize and get everything ready for the next tax season, right? And um, you connect to Stripe, Shopify, TikTok, and you can also connect your Slack channel. Okay, all of these features are just basically features that allow you to be able to create various integrations and various workflows that I will cover in a future video inside of your high level and your rise results account. If you have anything else that you want me to cover, just leave it in the description below and uh, I'll go ahead and cover it. But for now, that's pretty much all I have for this video.